science, and geography. Hello and welcome back to a new episode of Earth Basics. In today's video, we're going all the way back to the beginning of the channel, back to the beloved geography facts. But we've decided to make it a lot more fun by combining these amazing facts with science. Ladies and gentlemen, eight solid minutes of useless science and geography facts. Let's start. Did you know trees would collapse if the Earth's size was doubled? This is due to the fact that surface gravity would be doubled. It would also imply that larger animals, such as dogs, would be unable to run without breaking a leg. Sweden is covered for 70% with forest. If Earth doubled its size, Sweden would look like this. South Africa, instead of this, with animals actually standing on their feet, would either look like this, or simply without animals. There is a planet that is primarily comprised of diamond. It's called 55 Cancri E, and it's almost twice the size of Earth, located 40 light years distant in the Cancer constellation. The country on Earth that produces the most diamonds is Russia. In 2020, they produced approximately 23 million carats of diamonds. But just imagine if we could get our hands on the 55 Cancri planet. We would all be insanely rich. Alpine bumblebees. These little creatures are able to fly up to 3.25 kilometers above sea level. These heights are comparable to the Pyrenees, which has a height of 3.4 kilometers. However, in better conditions, in lab conditions in specific, that replicate the air density and oxygen, they can even reach levels at 9 kilometers, which is higher than Mount Everest. In the Southern Hemisphere, the moon appears upside down, at least in comparison to the Northern Hemisphere. This implies that in the Southern Hemisphere, the man in the moon is upside down and resembles a rabbit. Because of the difference in orientation and perspective, the moon appears upside down in the Southern Hemisphere compared to the Northern Hemisphere. Any object or constellation that is close to the celestial equator will look upside down and inverted from left to right in the opposite hemisphere. Honestly, I don't even know how people see either a man or a rabbit in the moon. Let me know what you see in these different perspectives of the moon. There's no such thing as a straight line. No guys, not even Egypt's borders. The poles of the Earth are shifting. In the last 71 million years, the majestic reversal of the North and South Poles has occurred 171 times. We're overdue for a change. It might happen soon, as the North Pole is migrating at roughly 55 kilometers per year, up from 15 kilometers per year until 1990. Due to tectonic plate movement, it is also predicted we could be seeing a new supercontinent called Pangaea Ultima or Pangaea Proxima. The fear of long words is called Hippopotamonstrosis quipped aliophobia. How ironically! The longest place name is Taumatwat Katangi Kangquato Matigrupukapikimanga Horanuka Powe Nukita Nutahu? Uh, my apologies for probably pronouncing it wrong. I tried. It's also called Taumata, which is a hill in New Zealand. Other long place names are these. A chicken once lived for 18 months without a head. Mike the Chicken's incredible feat was recorded back in the 1940s in the USA. Animals see time differently than humans. Smaller animals perceive the world around them to move more slowly than humans. Salamanders and lizards, for example, experience time more slowly than cats and dogs. This is due to the fact that the sense of time is determined by how rapidly the brain can absorb incoming information. This might mean Mike the Chicken felt like he even lived longer than 18 months headless. Good to know Mike lived a great headless life. Anyway, the rotation of the Earth is changing speed. It is really slowing down. This indicates that the duration of a day rises by around 1.8 seconds each century on average. A day 600 million years ago lasted only 21 hours. However, it also means that in 600 million years, Earth's days will be 27 hours long instead of 24. So if you ever feel like you don't have the time to do certain things, just spawn in 600 million years from here and you'll be totally fine. 
The length of blood arteries in an average-sized adult human body would circle our globe 2.5 times if laid end-to-end. 2.5 times the length of the Earth is approximately 100,000 kilometers. Yeah, that's long. Did you know that stars are very heavy? In fact, 6 billion tons would be the weight of a teaspoonful size of a neutron star. NASA experts say our Milky Way galaxy has between 100 and 400 billion stars, which is significantly fewer than the estimated number of trees on Earth. This sum is estimated to be over 3.04 trillion. The Amazon rainforest is responsible for around 20% of all oxygen on Earth. However, oceans are responsible for even more, 50 to 80%. Earlier, we talked about tectonic plate movement, but did you know Hawaii is gradually moving closer and closer towards Alaska? This is thanks to tectonic plates. It technically moves approximately 7.5 centimeters every year. The entire population of planet Earth could fit inside the boundaries of Los Angeles. Well, this was in 2020. This is around 7.8 to 7.9 billion people inside 1,300 kilometers squared. I'm refusing to try this. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's biggest living structure. It is almost 2,000 kilometers long and encompasses over 350,000 square kilometers. It is the only living thing visible from space. At least, that's what they tell us. But it could be wrong. I mean, who of us has been to space? Helium is one of the only elements known to actively resist gravity. Helium is converted into a liquid by cooling the gas to absolute zero. This liquid will then flow in the opposite direction of gravity. But did you know that there are areas on Earth that don't like gravity as well? Or at least don't feel like there is any? One example is the Magnetic Hill in Australia. The hill, located approximately 7 kilometers from Black Rock in Oruru in the mid-north, is famous for giving cars the sensation of rolling up it. Visitors are advised to turn off their cars as they approach Magnetic Hill. A giant magnet that sits on Magnetic Hill in South Australia's outback has often been speculated as the reason why gravity reverses at the tourist destination. However, it's believed to be simply an optical illusion. Due to the fact that you cannot see the horizon and you're surrounded by hills, you get a different sensation of levels and inclines and declines. Our Earth never fails to amaze me. Light can only reach 3,300 feet, 1,000 meters, deep in the water, leading scientists to conclude that no life existed beyond this depth. However, because the oceans are so deep, we literally know more about the moon than we do of oceans. It could be surprising how much more we can learn about what the depths of the oceans have to offer. To survive in light-deprived areas of the ocean, creatures rely on chemosynthesis, in which they utilize chemicals emitted by heat jets as energy rather than sunlight. Higher heights cause time to flow more slowly. Nonetheless, this is only fully noticeable in space. Hearing this statement, I would almost suggest to live on top of the Mount Everest to spare some time, but I think we wouldn't survive it out there. Water may exist in three states at the same time. This is known as the triple boil, or triple point, and it is a certain temperature and pressure at which materials exist concurrently as a gas, a liquid, and a solid. So what? In the United States, water exists in 50 states. So these were eight solid, or liquid, whatever you want to call it, of useless science and geography facts combined. Let me know if I should combine more topics to create amazing and fascinating facts. I'll be happy to create some more videos like this one. Give a thumbs up on this video so we can break the algorithm and subscribe to be part of the first 20,000 legends on the channel. Anyway, thank you for watching, and see you in the next of Earth Basics.